Ohio, we're headed to Incarceration Music and Tattoo Festival, featuring three stack nights of rock and metal with your headliners, Corn, Breaking Benjamin, and Disturbed. Support Rockfeed. Get your tickets at the link in the description, and we'll see you at Incarceration. Some 41 frontman Derek Wibley was a recent guest on Haybreed vocalist Jamie Josta's The Josta Show. During the interview, Josta had asked who he think could replace Chester Bennington in Lincoln Park. To which Wibley said, I think that's an impossible task. I think those are impossible shoes to fill. I don't know if they're ever going to do anything. I have no idea what that's going to look like or who that could be. Well, Josta then threw out the suggestion that Wibley could be a great fit, to which he replied, I'll take that compliment. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I agree with you on that. So Josta then pressed the issue and asked a hypothetical what if, and Wibley said, that is such a non-possibility that it's too weird to even like sort of joke think about. I don't know. I don't know how someone could fill those shoes. I think it would be tough. So I think it is fair to say that Wibbly won't be taking over Chester's vocals. But for those that are wondering what Josta was thinking, it's not as far-fetched as you might think. As Wibbly has performed with Linkin Park back in 2017 as a part of the Chester Bennington Memorial where they played the Catalyst. And then again beside Mike Shinoda in 2018 at the Reading Festival, when Sum 41 had brought Shinoda on stage and they played faint. Now regarding that cover, Wibley posted to his Instagram account earlier this year recalling the events that led up to that moment. He said that they decided a week prior to the show to bring Shinoda up on stage to cover faint. They had no practice time or anything and almost didn't even make the show because of a delay in customs. He also went on to say that no one will ever come close to Chester and that they just wanted to perform it for the love of the music. Now Linkin Park hasn't played together in nearly five years. So a bigger question remains and it's not who will replace Chester, but will Linkin Park ever play together again? That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.